Are you tight and weak on your neck, shoulders, and upper back muscles if you're suffering from forward head and rounded shoulder posture due to prolonged sitting position, typing in your computer, or looking down on your cell phone? Hi, my name is Annie. And welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. Join me for a lovely yoga flow to stretch, lengthen, and improve your overall posture. So get your mat ready and join me. Okay, my friends, let's start in cross-legged position. Slowly place your hands on your sides, palms down, fingers open, and slowly look up to the heavens as you inhale. Exhale, look down. Keeping your fingers pressing down to the mat. Inhale, look up. Exhale, down. Close your eyes if you'd like so you can really feel mind-body awareness release as you look up. Breathe in. Exhale as you look down. Last one as you look up. Inhale. Exhale down. Now slowly do a gentle rotation of your head, neck rotation from left to right. Inhale. Exhale. Feel the ticks and clicks of your neck. Now slowly to the other side, from right to left. Breathe in, breathe out, continually pressing down your hands down to the mat. Now slowly turn your head to the right, neck rotation, looking behind your shoulder to feel the lovely release on your neck and chest muscles all the way to your shoulder, in front of your shoulder. And then slowly turn to the other side as you breathe in, breathe out. Two more, to the left, last one, inhale, and exhale. Now slowly lean on one side on your left side, arms up overhead, stretch your rib cage. slowly lower your elbow, left elbow down to the mat to further stretch, and then all the way down your right side down. And then left hand overhead from left to right while leaning on your right elbow. Breathe in and then breathe out. Two more. Inhale as you open. Exhale as you go down. Left to right. Lean to your right elbow. Overhead stretch. Feel the rib cage opening on your left ribs. Exhale down. Last set. Slow and steady. Exhale down, both hands down to the mat, and then right side, overhead reach. Inhale and exhale. Well done. Now we're gonna do a slowly lifting hands overhead as you look up. Interlock your fingers, index finger pointing to the heavens, and slowly lean back gently. Inhale and then exhale slowly, lower your hands to your heart and breathe out. Inhale, reach up as you look up, extending your elbows. Exhale, lower it down to your heart and breathe out. Last one. Inhale, reach. Exhale, down. And reach again to the heavens. Now hold that position, squeezing your arms towards your ears so you can really engage your upper back. Reach and then slowly. Lean on one side, so I'm leaning to the right. Inhale, and then exhale to the other side. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last one, my friends. Inhale. And exhale. Now I'm going to slowly place your right elbow over your left for a lovely or a lovely hero's pose and then lower your elbows down and then reach up feel the stretch on your scapular muscles inhale as you go down exhale reach up if you can't reach your elbow over that's fine and if you can't place your wrists and your hand over your wrist that's fine inhale up 
exhale down last one you can really feel the stretch and now slowly lift your hands up overhead and switch to the other side now my left elbow over my right and you can find one side tighter pull up elbows up exhale down lift and then down last one inhale exhale down Whew. well done now place your hands on top of your knees and do a gentle seated cat and camel as you round your shoulders forward chin tuck inhale exhale look up and squeeze in your upper back inhale round exhale look up two more inhale exhale up and last one my friends and exhale up well done now let's go to your hands and knees position hands level to your shoulders knees level to your hips do a gentle cat and camel as you slowly round your shoulder to an angry cat exhale look up Arch your lumbar spine to a camel. Inhale, round your shoulder to an angry cat. Exhale, look up. Breathe in as your chin tuck. Exhale, look up. Last one, my friends. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now we'll do a lovely bird dog. As you extend your right leg, toes pointing away, opposite hand i'm reaching with my left strengthening your core and upper back i'm really mindful engaging my upper back muscles and my core as i breathe in and then breathe out back to all fours and then switch to the other side extending my left knee and then reaching with my right hand as you breathe in and then breathe out down four more Three more. Reach. Reach as much as you can to really engage those muscles. Two more. Last one, my friends. And now we're progressing by doing a twist. As you bird dog reach, bend your left knee and then reach from your right over, tapping your hand towards your foot the toes if you can inhale exhale back to bird dog extend your, your knee and your elbow and then exhale down now switch to the other side with my left hand reaching forward and my knee extended on my right and then slowly bending my right knee as I twist towards my left tapping my toes with my left hand exhale and then reach back to bird dog and then exhale back to all fours four more reach right hand reaching over your left toes twist back to bird dog exhale down if this is too difficult just continue with just regular bird dog breathe in breathe out as you tap inhale exhale two more inhale exhale last one my friends and last one on this side well done now we're going to do a gentle trunk rotation lift your right hand up to the side over towards the ceiling opening your chest looking up as well to stretch your neck muscles as you inhale exhale back down to the mat and then switch to the other side my left hand opening to the side i'm looking up breathe in breathe out four more inhale exhale squeezing your core in engaging your core muscles three more left side two more right side open to the left last set inhale exhale now we are progressing we thread the needle as you open your right arm up we're gonna thread it in towards your left armpit to 
to your left rib cage as you slowly lower your right arm down. If you can, all the way down. If you can stop at this level, that's fine. But if you can further go down, lowering your left, right side of your face and your ear down the mat. And then extending your left elbow and hold this in two deep breaths. Last deep breath in. Place your left hand back to the mat near your face so you can press up back to all fours. Now let's switch to the other side, left arm opening. Inhale and then exhale, thread it in. Lowering your left shoulder blade, your shoulder, your left side of your face and your ear. And then exhale, extending your right elbow. And hold this in two deep breaths. Last one. Deep breath in and then back to all fours. Now we'll end this program for a lovely puppy pose, keeping your buttocks off the mat and then slowly lowering your chest down all the way down to the mat and rest your forehead down to the mat as you hold this in three deep breaths. Last deep breath in. And that's it. I'm hoping you enjoyed this lovely yoga flow to stretch and lengthen your upper back, your shoulders, and improve the mobility of your neck. If you've been sitting a lot with tightness and stiffness, with rounded shoulders and forward head posture. If you love this video and want to learn more about Pilates, yoga, and physical therapy, health and wellness, please subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell so you won't miss anything. Like and share this video. Every like you give to my channel, you are supporting me. I just opened my back master class and it will be open for the next seven days before I close it at the end of the week on April 7. If you're interested to join this small intimate class to regain life without back pain, to improve your overall posture and core strength, click the link on the description below. Be part of my early bird wait list. And if you need a lovely release that not sanctioned trigger points, then also utilize some gun massager. And I have one that I really would like you to try and recommend from Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists in the internet. And this is their gun massager that they sent to me to try. This massager by Bob and Brad, it's very compact and it's easy to use. And I love the different kind of settings you can use, the different settings and strength and vibrations you can try. You can plug it in to charge and then there's four different kind of there's a user manual that you can use so you can really learn how to use this and i love to use this with my patients especially i know that stretching is good and sometimes it's nice to have some myofascial release utilizing an equipment so this has different settings it can be on your feet, your upper back, the whole different parts of your body that you need with different kinds of speed and dimension. And there's also an indication on how, and there's four different levels. And you can also, this compact manual also will let you know how long you can stay in different muscle position. If you want to be in relaxed position, target and move along the muscles and your localized area. If you have a very painful area, you can do it very light on level one. And if you can tolerate further, you can go all the way to level four in certain localized areas. So if it's in your upper traps, like this has a, a smaller area that you can pinpoint the muscle area so the upper back like today if you have so I did some yoga to release my upper back and my neck and you if you want a deeper massage and release there's a setting you can just press the button and then it starts vibrating so this is level one and then you can grip it really well it's compact it's easy to hold you can press to the area that will have some tightness so in the muscle belly is really recommended and you can press down as much as you can as a tolerate you know when you have pain make sure it's a feel good pain you know if it's a good pain when you release it it feels good instead of more pain when there's more sharp pain then it's not recommended of course this massager you want to make sure you ask your doctor first before doing any self massage and you can also have lo your loved ones do it for you and you know in the shoulders recommended for two minutes at least your upper trap Follow the muscles fiber from the base of your neck all the way down. So you, there's different settings and attachment you can use. So this one is the tip point. And then there's also the ball point. So you can rec they recommend what's the best attachment for each area. But of course, it depends on your preference. If you want a deeper massage, you can. I like the tip point because I like it deeper. 
and because I work out a lot and this is a great way to have the muscle recovery especially if you work hard and you have a lot of delayed onset muscle soreness or DOMS so this is a great way to release those lactic acid formation to have better recovery so you can go back to the gym again energized to do your workout so right now my chest is a little bit sore from my workout two days ago you know your delayed onset muscle soreness is a little bit more um, sore 48 hours there's 24 to 48 hours sometimes up to 72 hours depends on how much workout you did so bob and brad is a great tool gun massager is a mini q2d mini massager gun and if you want to purchase this through my through bob and brad and you have a discount code click on the description below and use the code and try and get a discount with on purchasing this gun massager so i love it on my upper traps my neck my chest and then if you have tightness in your hamstrings go get it go ahead on your hamstrings so it's good to do it after a workout or even before your workout so that you feel good so it's best to do this after workout so you or a day after workout or if you just want to have some muscle release from stiffness from sitting a lot in your desk area or driving or any prolonged positioning from prolonged standing sitting or any area that you have some inflammation so if it's on the tendon it's also okay to massage and there's a protocol that you can try they follow along with the pictures on how you sweep it through from a to b so to follow through the muscle fibers or against the muscle fibers and so example your low back area depends if you have the quadratus lumborum pain so you can follow through from the mid back all the way to the outside of your pelvis so there's so much options you can do with this lovely massager so if you want to purchase this you have an option to check out on the description below the link is down below and try bob and brad so different settings that you can try so i'm making it faster when you do a higher lead then you're gonna feel a different kind of vibration and you massage your gun that's so portable and you can carry it wherever you need to go for traveling easy to bring it anywhere especially when i traveled for vacation and i've been sitting a lot traveling and this is one of the best tools i did to recover before i go to my workout or as a recovery if you're suffering from quadratus lumborum pain check out this video over here to learn more about QL muscle spasm and tightness and if you're suffering from sciatica check out this lovely sciatica video i have for you always remember be safe be well and healthy you bye